Good evening, everyone. How are you doing? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Everybody, welcome. Okay, let's Hi, start. Teacher. Hello, Kalek. How are you doing? Hello, Reinaldo. Hello, Candy. Hi, Christian. Good evening, Julio. Good evening. Hello, Vilma. Hello, teacher. Carla Yanet, how are you doing? Levin Giovanni, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, Carla. Okay, is everybody ready to start? <laughs> Okay, then I'm going to take, I mean, call, I'm going to call the roll. So please turn on your cameras and say present when I call your names, okay? Here we go. Amanda Graciela Perez Orellana. Carleca Visaí, Marinero Asensio. We need teacher. Candelaria de Los Ángeles, Nolasco de Flores. Here. Ok. Vení. Carol Ibet Chávez Reyes. Present teacher. Ok. Cristian Edenilson Ayala Ramírez. Present teacher. I'm having trouble with my camera. Hello. Oh. Okay, there it is. Es que hoy cuando entré, la cámara no, no daba el video, ¿verdad? Le puse que diera el video y es como, qué raro, dije, esta cámara ya se volvió de las que necesitan leña para poder encender, ¿verdad? <laughs> Ay, no, y es, y es de las buenas, es de las buenas. Bueno, vamos a continuar. Aquí me he quedado sin video. Ok, Delmi Guadalupe Martínez Marroquín. Delmi Guadalupe Martínez Marroquín. Estela Mabel Orellana de Del Cid. Present teacher. Liliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Good evening, teacher. Present. Ok. Iris Marina Portillo de Reyes. Present, teacher. Iris Janet Barrera Herrera. Present, teacher. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present. Karen Maricela Rivera de Martínez. Carla Raquel Mendoza Hernández. Present, teacher. Ok. Kenny Lisette Cuellar de Barrientos. Levin Giovanni Martínez. Present teacher. Lisette del Carmen Hernández Mismit. Present teacher. Marta Lidia Godínez. René Armando Avendaño Pineda. Present. Ok. Reinaldo Chávez Guerra. Present teacher. Good. Alexandra Raquel Ávila de Axume. Present teacher. Okay. Ingrid Yamilet Eras Faranda. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Carla Yanet García González. Present. María Magdalena Ronquillo Magaña. Present. María Luz Yanet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Vilma Consuelo Guzmán de Girón. Present. Okay, great. Here we go. We are starting tonight with the uh, topic, how to use would like to, okay? How to use would like to. This is uh, the topic from yesterday too, because yesterday we were talking about the ways how to report a problem, right? 
ways to report a problem, it was yesterday. So tonight we are starting with the, um, let's say the grammar structure, okay? How to use would like to, how to use would like to. Bien, decíamos ayer que esta frase o esta um, estructura would like to se usa para cuando queremos expresar lo que queremos o lo que des deseamos. Bien, y es una forma muy polite, muy respetuosa, muy formal de decir lo que yo quiero. A eso, cuando usted expresa lo que usted quiere, eso se llama en inglés uh, to make a request, ¿ok? To make a request. So, would like to is um, structure uh, for requesting politely, ¿ok? Would like to is used for requesting politely. This is what we are going to study tonight, okay? Requesting politely. How to use would like to for requesting politely. So let me let me introduce the class with the slides, okay? And I want you to tell me, okay? I want you to tell me, okay? From the last class, ¿Cuál fue la frase básica que aprendimos en la clase pasada usando would like to? ¿Mm? A ver, ¿quién tiene idea? Recordemos. ¿Cuál fue la frase que aprendimos usando would like to? I'd. Uh -huh. I'd like. like to. I'd like to report a problem. Remember? Esa era la frase de ayer. I'd like to report a problem. Okay, yes. That was the phrase to report a problem. Okay. I'd like to report a problem. Usted allí está haciendo un request. Okay. Ahí está haciendo una solicitud, ¿verdad? A alguien. Porque le está manifestando, okay, lo que usted quiere hacer. Okay, so I'd like to report a problem. That's requesting politely. Okay, también esta, ustedes la van a encontrar en los libros que se usa para offering politely, para ofrecer algo de una manera respetuosa o muy amable. Okay, requesting and offering politely. En esta unidad vamos a ver eh, más que todo a requesting, ok, requesting politely. Y vamos a comenzar precisamente con la frase I'd like to report a problem. Es, una man es la manera afirmativa, ok, esa es la estructura afirmativa y es la más común para un request, okay? para hacer una solicitud, ok. So, let's uh, go to See what's the goal, okay? What is the goal for tonight? Well, participants will be able to use would like to for requesting politely, okay? Ese es nuestro objetivo. Probablemente ustedes, algunos de ustedes hayan visto ya este tema y eh, Ven que hay preguntas, hay forma negativa, hay forma afirmativa. Eh, realmente lo que nos interesa ahorita es estudiar la forma afirmativa. Sí vamos a decir cómo se hace la pregunta y cómo se hace la forma negativa. 
pero nos vamos a centrar en una conversación requesting politely, okay? Bien. Our agenda for tonight is the first thing we are going to do tonight because if we don't play at the beginning, there is no more time to play, okay? So we are going to do it at the, in the first activity. And this is just a warm up. Esto va a ser como calentar y recordar, ¿verdad? Calentar motores y vamos a hacer ese jueguito. Es un quiz de 10 preguntas eh, en donde ustedes tienen que ir eh, poniendo o seleccionando la opción, ¿verdad? Correcta. Acordémonos de what, when, why, how, uh, who. Y lo vamos a, es, a hacer basados en la estructura del presente continuo, ¿ok? Who is going to the conference? Who um, is your boss, for example, ¿ok? Things like that. Think where, where are you having the conference or where are you having the meeting, et cetera, ¿ok? Et cetera. So the, let's go to the, uh, let's continue with the agenda. And then we are having this feedback at the same time that we are uh, doing some exercises, ident identifying and reporting problems. Then we are having a conversation time. We are learning how to use would like to. And in the breakout rooms, you are going to read and comment, have a discussion, and then another handbook exercises. The session one-on-one -on -one for tonight is Carla's turn, okay? Carla Raquel. Today is your time after the class. Are you able to stay? No sé si tal vez otro compañero pueda quedarse. Okay. Okay, it's available, guys. Let's take advantage of this. Only one, please. Think, think. Vale, les vamos a dar tiempo para que piensen quién se quiere quedar. Pero no se vayan a estar peleando, por favor, okay? Bien, vamos a ver, nos vamos a ir al quiz time, okay? So, everybody please go to Google, go to Google and write uh, or type in joinmyquiz.com, joinmyquiz.com, okay? Escriban así, como está aquí, joinmyquiz.com. De todas maneras, voy a ir al quizzes. Y les voy a sacar el link, ¿ok? Sorry. No, bueno, sí. Here we go. Okay, Lisette. Okay. Okay, guys. So now we have who wants to stay, okay? There is no available anymore. Mm -hmm. Ya se ocupó la vacante. Okay, ahorita yo les voy a enviar el link a través del chat de Zoom para que entremos al jueguito. Okay. Ahí está. Entremos todos por ahí. Si no, si no entran por ese link o no les abre, les voy a dar el código. El código es 569783. 9783 
please, everybody. Ready? Let's see if you are there. There we go. Si pudieron entrar, jóvenes. Come on, come on. Come jóvenes come on, come on. aún. <laughs> Yay. Estoy yes. esperando que abra. Ok, no problem. Que mi internet es muy lento. Oh, ok. Entonces podemos decir, my internet is running very slow. It says 18 people in, I cannot see you guys. Carol, Magdalena, okay. There we go. One second, si sí, sí molesta un poco la interferencia, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Háganme favor y verifiquemos porque no encuentro quién tiene el audio. Ahorita lo pongo a todos. No. Uh -huh. I think it is better. Okay, is everybody ready? I have only 19 in the game and we are 24. Okay, so are you having trouble to, uh, to connect to the game, to join the game? ¿Quién está teniendo problemas? No tenga miedo de decirme para que pueda entrar con todos. Lo que hay que hacer es sencillo. Usted puede irse aquí en el chat de Zoom y le da clic en el link que les envié. Si no, si así no entran, entonces ponen en la búsqueda de Google, ponen joinmyquiz.com y les va a pedir un código. Ahí se los envié. El código es 569783. The code is 569783. Are we okay? There we have 19 people in. Okay, let's go then. Okay, I think we're gonna start. Let's start now. I don't know what's going on. Doesn't give me one second, please. Okay, I will tell them. You've got to say that in English too. Okay, I think now it's going to go. Okay, there you go.
Very good, Lisette. Good living. Very good, Alexandra. Great, Mabel. Good, Lisette. Oh, my God. Go, Tim, go. Look, you're doing a great job. Very good. Go, go, Kenny, go, go. Vilma, ¿se le trabó el sistema? No, yo creo que ya terminé. Did you finish? Okay. There you go. The same teacher. Okay. Not everyone is done, so let's wait just for a second. Excuse me? I have just one mistake. Oh, I see that you did a great job. Just one second, because Lisette had the, the higher score. Uh, yeah, Lisette, she had 96 and uh, 9,000. Any mistake? No mistakes, no mistakes, uh, yeah. She did it, she did, she did great. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, it says 24 participants. There is some people still working, okay? Vaya, fíjense que tenemos, quiero ver. Todavía hay, hay tres trabajando, cuatro trabajando. Ok. Llevamos nada más 68% de precisión. Ok. Entonces, nomás terminen ellos, le vamos a volver a dar iniciar para que entre todos lleguemos por lo menos al 80, ok. Al 80% de precisión entre todos. Ahorita Lisset hizo bien todo, ¿ok? Así que vamos a ponerle ganas y le vamos, lo vamos a volver a poner 
y entre todos ponerle coco para que, ah, pero antes que, que otra cosa pase, ¿hay alguna duda? Cuéntenme alguna duda que tienen. Ahí arriba. Okay. Solo déjenme ver acá. Uh -huh. Okay, it doesn't say how many are done already because you are still working. Okay. ¿A alguien se le trabó el sistema? ¿A ¿Alguien lo tuvo que volver a hacer? No, teacher. ¿No? ¿Todos lo no. finalizaron? Sí. Okay. Sí, porque acá pensé que tal vez por eso teníamos bastante bajo el la precisión, pero terminamos con un 69% de precisión. Ahorita yo le doy el fin y ajá, le doy el fin y tenemos ok si sí, se traba, verdad Sí, Lisette fue el primer lugar, ok. Entonces, vamos a ver. Le vamos a dar, volver a dar, pero en este juego tengo que volver a enviar un link, ok. Así que vamos todos. Ahorita les paso yo el link para que lleguemos al 80%, ok. Casi, casi. ¿Alguien tenía alguna duda en las preguntas? No. La idea era saber cómo se responde, ¿verdad? La pregunta, dependiendo de eh, la WH word. ¿Ok? Here we go. Hoy lo van a hacer más rápido, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. There we go. Ahí vamos. Teacher, tell me. ¿Y va a volver a enviar el, 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 el link o qué? Porque me está dando problema, me dice que ese pin ya fue usado. Sí, exactamente. Yo ahorita les estoy sacando el nuevo código. Ah, ok. Sí, es que no deja jugar el mismo con el mismo código. En el mismo juego. Entonces, tengo que llevármelo con nuevo link. Ok, here it is. Ahí va. Hoy sí. Ok. Y ahí está el código. 627390. Vamos.
Okay. You're in, right? Mm -hmm. Almost done. Ya les cargo a ustedes. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Mm. Se quedó pensando. Here it is. Okay. Vamos. Three, two, one, go. Very good. Excellent, Jessica. Very good, Alexandra. Now Alexandra is on the head. Go ahead. Yay, yay. Kalik. Go, go, Kalik. Excellent, it is. The Reyes. <laughs> okay, there you go. Very good, Bilma. Woo. Yay, 70%, yes. Go, 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 Tim. Very good, Alexandra, excellent. What a great score. Jessica, you did it. Oh my God, you are doing a great job. Nice. Great. I'm sorry, I can't do it because I have problem with the... You have, when, when oh, I push, when oh I, you should say, I have, I have a problem. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Estela. But they are doing a great job. Look, they are having... Uh, let's see now. I can't. Seventy-four percent. Okay. I can't finish. <laughs> Did you finish? Mabel, pero no, si intenta entrar, si puede. Okay, okay. I'm going to try. Okay, si usted vuelve a intentar, la va a dejar entrar. Very good, Lisa. Yes, I saw it. Good. Woo. 76%. Very good. I assure you guys, if we do this in the third time, then we get this the 100%. 
Very good. Eighteen done. Good. Mm -hmm. Go, go, Eliana. It says 18 done, 20 done. So we have five trying. Okay. We done? I think we're done. There are three still working in it. Yay, 77%. Yo creo que la primera vez no estábamos muy concentrados, ¿verdad? Pero ya la segunda vez ya nos concentramos un poquito más. Hemos llegado al 77% del 69% que estábamos. Well done, guys. Well done. Todavía estamos esperando a uno más. Estela lo pudo hacer. Yes, teacher. I do okay. it. Okay, great. I great. did. It. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, so now, guys, let's see. Uh, okay, let's look at this. Okay. Just in a hurry, in a hurry here. Just uh, uh, keeping an eye on this. So the number one that I have here because you have this uh, sorted. So this is another order maybe, okay? But what's the, what is the answer here? Uh, is about Where? today, uh-huh. Where? Where, excellent. What about the next one? What, what, when, or why? What are you doing right now? Okay, excellent. What about number three? When. When, yes. When are the materials arriving? They're arriving next Friday. Okay, what about this one? It is Marina. Ooh. Okay. Uh huh. Sorry. <laughs> no problem, no problem. It is Marina. You made the chip. Okay, this one. What is the answer for this? Um, I mean, what's the word missing in this question? Who? Who, right? Because we are talking about the CFO, it's a person. Okay, very good. What about the next one? Number five here. Where, what, or who? <laughs> Where? Where? Because we are talking about a place. Look, it says taking place. So the W uh, W H word will be where. Okay. Next one, number six. We're talking about a date. So what's the W H word missing? Uh, 
What, where, or when? What? What? When? Si estamos preguntando uh, un tiempo, una fecha. Where? Where, where is about a place? When? When is for time. When is for time. Aquí veo que hay nueve que lo contestaron incorrecto. Miren, aquí sería when. Esta tercera de acá. When es para cuando preguntan por fechas, por días, por meses, años, tiempo, ¿verdad? El tiempo. Next one. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo sería esta pregunta? Are you doing? What are you doing tomorrow? Okay. What about the next one? Uh -huh. When is Carlos? Carlos, right? Because we have singular here. Where mm. is Carlos arriving to the party? Yay. What about number nine? What? What is she doing? Is she doing? Correct. What she is she doing right now? Excellent. Number 10. Number 10. Where is going? Where is Carla going? Right? Say it with me. Don't worry. Where is Carla going on vacation this year? Excellent. There you go. There you go. Okay, then, yes. Here we go. Alexandra, Jessica was the first place. I'm sorry, lo, lo quité antes de que vieran. Jessica tuvo el primer lugar esta vez, okay? Bien, vamos a ver. Vamos a continuar con nuestra clase del día de hoy. We are continuing with the class for tonight. Tonight is the video conference number 17. Yay, right? Yay. What do you think, guys? Hmm. We are moving forward, right? <laughs> okay, we are a step ahead. So, we were talking about the uh, structure would like to, let's go back to would like to, okay? In our manuals, we have the first conversation we were talking yesterday about, okay? So we are continuing with that. Lo voy a ir haciendo en básico para que avancemos un poquito más. Okay, voy a estar mostrando toda la pantalla. Here we go. This was the conversation. For example, it says, good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter, this is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay, vamos a ver. Uh, solamente Quiero dos voluntarios, dos voluntarios por nombre. Vamos a decir a Estela and Kalek, ¿ok? Los veo muy voluntariosos, right? Ok, <laughs> so please, <laughs> please role play this conversation, ¿ok? Con sus nombres, ¿ok? Aquí vamos a sustituir sus okay. propios nombres. There you go. Good morning. This is Mabel from Tech Support. How can I help? Can I help you? Hi, Mabel. This is Robert. This is Caleb. I am calling from the Human Recourse Department. Resources. Resources Department. Resources Department. Uh, I it like. I'd to like report a, a, I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Caleb? 
It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay, great. So now we are um, discussing these questions. Okay, so what is the issue with Robert's computer? What is the issue with Robert's computer? What is the issue? Acordémonos que issue es como la situación, ¿verdad? El problema, ¿ya? Yeah? What is the issue with Robert's computer? A ver. He said, see the work. Excuse me? He doesn't see the work. It, it's okay. It doesn't seem to work. Okay, it doesn't seem to work. So the computer is not working, okay? What is the issue with Robert's computer? The computer is not working. We can say, uh, just as you say, uh, as you said, uh, it doesn't seem to work. Just like that, because he doesn't give any more information, right? So let's say about number two. How does he report a problem? How does he report a problem? How does he report the problem? He's, he's calling the so, so, sex board. Yeah. Support, no. support department. Tech support okay. department. Mm -hmm. He's calling to tech support department. Okay, correct. He's, he's making a call, he's calling, he's uh, making a phone call. Okay, there you go. And he is doing this very politely, very politely, okay? Very politely. He is saying, I'd like to report a problem. So now let's see. In this list that we have down here, we have some common reasons to call tech support, okay? Check which problems are the most common reasons to call tech support. And, okay, in this case, maybe for some of you, this is going to be different uh, in order of importance, uh, of importance in your own companies because sometimes in some companies occur a problem um, more frequently than other problems, okay? So it doesn't matter if what you see is not the same as your classmates, okay? So let's think about new software. Do you think that new software is one of the most common reasons to call tech support? No internet access? Yes, right, so check it. Let's check that. Okay, no internet access. There you go. Um, a virus? Have you had this problem in your companies? A virus? No, right? Deleted files? Have you delete, uh, deleted any file and then you have to call tech support for they to help you to recover these files? Okay, so, okay, deleted files. Now let's see, uh, paper stock and printer? Paper stock and printer? Yes. Se les traba el papel en la impresora y necesitan que llegue el técnico para que lo estrabe? Paper stock and printer? No. You can do it by yourself, right? You can do it by yourself. Okay. Um, USB port out of order. Es que no me lee la USB, fíjese. Y entonces yo quiero que vengan a ver. Yo creo que es el puerto el que no funciona. Okay. USB port out of order. Si se fijan, no funcionan bien. Okay. Fuera de orden. Out of order. What do you think? Do you call tech support to say that? To report that? No. Yes. Okay. Funny noise in the CPU. Funny, funny in este caso no es divertido, okay? Funny is strange. 
weird, okay? Weird, like raro, yeah? Raro, mm, diferente, okay? Funny noise in the CPU. Llaman a tech support if you hear something different in your CPU. Do you call tech support for that? Mm -hmm. Yes? No. Yeah. Yes, okay, there yes. you go. Frozen screen, frozen screen. Se quedó paralizada la, la, la pantalla. No corre para ningún lado. No la puedo cerrar, okay? Frozen screen, pantalla congelada. Do you mm -hmm. call tech support when you, when you get a frozen screen? Yes. Yes. Okay. So no internet access, deleted files, funny noise in the CPU and frozen screen. Screen. Usually we don't call for a virus because the companies have uh, these um, antivirus, right? Software, antivirus so software. So we, uh, I mean, they avoid that problem with, the, with that software. But let's talk about the new software. What do you think? When they installed a new software in your computer and you don't know how to use it um, well, or maybe it's the first time that you are uh, experiencing that, do you call tech support for they um, to tutor you to um, use the new software? Llaman ustedes a Tech Support para que les diga cómo funciona el nuevo software por algún momento que les cambien el software? No? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. So now let's think about, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, como por decir, ¿verdad? Como por decir, uh, ¿se acuerdan del problema que daba la Chivo Wallet? Okay. Do you remember that? Toda la gente se quejaba y decía que, que, no, que, que no entraba y todo eso. Ahí habían un montón de problemas eh, del software, ¿verdad? Entonces, it was a new software. Maybe the people didn't know how to use it. So they called to the um, uh, customer service for day two, um, file a claim, and then the technical support got in contact with you to solve the problem, right? Then you said, I'd like to report that my Chivo wallet doesn't recognize my password, for example, right? So things like that, or maybe uh, se trabó, okay? It got frozen, okay? Frozen. Entonces, sí hemos visto algunos problemas que no solamente se dan en la oficina, sino que problemas que podemos tener con nuestro celular, ¿verdad? Ustedes llaman a ti o, por ejemplo, llaman a, a, a con quien ustedes tienen sus líneas de internet o de teléfono y son también soporte técnico, no solamente el de su compañía, ¿verdad? IT support and eh, tech support. Okay, so let's continue, guys. Ya que identificamos algunos problemas, oh, no me deja. Ya que identificamos algunos problemas, vamos para acá y veamos. Okay, the ways to report a problem, like saying, I would like to report a problem. It doesn't seem to work, will be the common issue. Okay, así como el. Eh, cuando reportamos algo que no sabemos exactamente qué es lo que sucede, ¿verdad? Simplemente digo lo que veo que pasó, ¿ok? Pero no tengo la idea de cuál puede ser la causa. Entonces, then I say, it doesn't seem to work, ¿ok? So, I would like to report an issue. It makes a strange or a funny noise. I have trouble with, uh, maybe with my cell phone. I have trouble with my laptop. I have trouble with my keyboard, okay? Keyboard. I have trouble yeah, then, with my camera. There you go. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but I have trouble with my webcam. Okay, here we go. There. <laughs> Good. Okay, so, si ya vimos entonces, 
los problemas que podemos tener. Ya vimos cómo reportar el problema. What are the common issues you have in your workplaces? Okay, Estela, what are the common issues you have in your workplace? Uh, sometimes uh, I, I have trouble with uh, the internet. Um, I have in my computer, I have trouble with the internet. Mm -hmm. with a pro I have problem with a program. And now I have problem with the Adobe. Mm -hmm. I can't use it. Okay. And I call to tech support mm -hmm. and they can, they don't know what, what happened. Mm, okay. So what did they do to solve it? What did they tell you? I can't uh, open to work in this in documents with in this program. Oh, okay. And is that a Lenovo? Is that a Lenovo the computer what? that you are using? Lenovo? The computer that Lenovo, you are using? I, no, it's not. It, it, it is not Lenovo. Marca? Okay. Yes, the trademark. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Trim. Okay. Trademark. But I don't know what, what happened <laughs> because the support tell me and I don't know too. <laughs> oh, sorry to hear that because they have, they were supposed to do it. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Yes, yes, I understand that. I can imagine, I can imagine. Okay, thank you, Mabel, for sharing this. And I hope you can find a solution for that. Okay, now let's see, it is Janet. What are the common issues you have in your workplace? Um, este, ay, ya, me cuesta el inglés. <laughs> okay, ¿cuáles son los um, sí, problemas más los problemas. comunes? técnicos Ajá. por los que usted llama a Tech Support en su lugar de trabajo. A ver, tratemos caídas, de armarla. Uh -huh. Caída de sistema. Ok, system. Mire, system goes, goes down. Ok, ah, system sí, goes, goes down. down. Frequently. Ok, mm. frequently. Yeah. Ok, this is a surprise. There is the baby. I'm sorry, permítanme un momentito. Permítanme un momentito, I'm sorry. Okay. Would you? Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Okay, system goes down frequently. Very good. Then you call tech support and you express, I have a problem with the system, right? Okay. Y en tiempo pasado sería went down, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Goes down es para explicarlo como, ay, que se va casi siempre, ¿verdad? Como una uh -huh. cosa rutinaria. Pero si usted lo reporta, usted va a decir, the system went down, ¿ok? Uh -huh. bueno. Usando el pasado. Ok, thank you very much, it is Janet. Okay. Kalek, do you have any um, technical problem in your workplace maybe with your phone or the internet computer <laughs> Es como ah. ca cambio de computadora por, por estar obsoleta. Oh, ok. So they updated. Ok. Change the computers. Ok. Vale. Aquí hay una palabra bien bonita. Está update. Ok. Uh -huh. Updated. Porque update. estaba. Ok. Outdated. Ok. Um, outdated es que estaba obsoleta, ok, podríamos obsolete. decir obsolete y, y funciona, okay. 
ok, pero outdated es que ya estaba fuera de, eh, uh, no estaba actualizada, ok, no estaba actualizada, ah. updated es actualizado, ok, actualizado, ok, yes, ok, change the computers, um, podemos poner change updated, to updated computer. ay no me deja, Ok, lo voy a poner aquí. Change to updated computers. Ok. Yeah, so are you having trouble to manage that? ¿Han tenido problemas manejando las nuevas computadoras, Kalec? Uh, no. Ok. Um, ok. Antes tenían el problema y por eso lo cambiaron. So that was the solution, I think. Right? Sí, sí, cabal. Ok, Correct. great. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. Uh, Julio, what are the common issues you have in your workplace? My internet is really slow. Ok, internet uh, running slow. Ok, very good. Thank you very much, Julio. Kenny, what are the common issues you have in your workplace? You there, Kenny? I think she was working, right? Lisette, what are the common issues you have in your workplace? Um, for example, when I have a, a problem with a sublimate at work, sometimes it's incorrect and I call the department. And like sublimated? Sublimated, yes. Uh huh. In the work. Okay, it's like a printer or something like that? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, uh, so when it's incorrect, I call the, the department of submate and they uh -huh. um, correct. Corrigen. No, they yes, it's not uh, yes. Okay. They correct. Pero okay. mandan una persona, how do you say? They send a person. Yes, send a person. Uh huh. First, okay. see the problem. Okay, so we can say wrong sublimated text mm -hmm. or what? Text or image? At work. At work, like this. At uh, art. art. I, I, I'm, I can barely hear you because we have some interference. Art. Work. Art. I, okay. Work. Now I understand. Art work. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. Thank you very much, Lisa. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, guys, what are the um, equipment in your offices that mostly present problems? What are the equipment pieces? Like, for example, in my place, could be a printer, okay? A ver, ¿qué otro equipo presenta problemas en la, o, o tenemos en la oficina por lo que podemos llamar al técnico? Computer. Computer, okay. Uh, phone. Phones, uh -huh. Do you use a tablet? Control box. Servidor. The server. Email. Uh -huh. Email. Emails. Okay. Uh, internet. Aquí en email vamos a poner applications. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. what, what did you say? I'm sorry. You said something. Internet, right? Internet. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. In the internet, el equipo de la internet, ¿cuál sería? Router. Yeah. Okay. Router. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, What hey, else? Hey, 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 h
Uh, no, ese sería de optic fiber. Optic fiber. Yeah. Uh, Again. Again. ATM. Oh, okay, with the ATM, yes. For example, if you work in a bank, yes. Mm -hmm. Or in a financial institution, yes, correct. ATMs. Uh huh. Do you have like um camera? Oh, good cameras. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Los POS. Alarm. Alarms. Uh, what did you say, Julio? POS, POS. POS, okay. Mm -hmm. Telephone. Okay, here we have in phones. Mm -hmm. okay. We can say phones because we could say cell phones or office, right? Cell phones or office phone. Okay. Planta generadora de energía, teacher. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, it will be um, ener scanner. Ener energy. I'm sorry, a scanner. I'm, I'm going to write scanner before. Uh, okay. Energy okay. plant, I think it is plant. Planta. Uh -huh. uh, no, es generador. Okay. Mm -hmm. Energy generator, I think it is. Pero hay una como unit generator or something like that. A ver, mm -hmm. ¿quién uh, trabaja en electricidad aquí que tenga una tita? idea? Tita. Tita. Pipa. Eh, el panel de control. The control panel. No, ok. Panel de control. Ok, control panel. But that's not to the tech support. I mean, the IT support. Eso tenemos que ver también, porque está el, el, la asistencia técnica de mantenimiento, ¿verdad? Que también son técnicos. Pero en este caso, ahorita estamos hablando más que todo de el equipo de oficina, ¿ok? okay. El equipo de oficina. Pero es cierto, la electricidad es básica, si no, no funciona nada en la oficina, ¿verdad? Right? Maybe we have problems with the lights, for example, the lamps in the office, but we are not going to, we, we are not calling tech support. We are calling maintenance, right? We are calling maintenance for day to solve this problem. But it's the same. You can say, I'd like to report a problem with the lights, right? They are not turning on. Or maybe we can say something about the water, right? The sink maybe is, um, uh, flunk, flunk, I think it is. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, it's not working. Okay, the zinc is not working. So we're having troubles, right? Trap. I'm sorry, we're having trouble with um, other appliances in our offices, but they are not office appliances. Okay, so let's see. Déjenme ver porque Iris tiene una muy buena que sería la planta generadora de energía. Vuelvame a decir en español como me lo dijo. Planta, planta generadora de energía. Ok. Eh, si no me equivoco es como una subunidad, pero. Oh. Uh -huh. Y que mi. My dad is an electrician. Ah, yeah. So I was just thinking, but I don't remember the word at this moment. Okay. Let's say Estación. power, the power plant. Uh -huh. Yeah, substation. But the substation is an uh, like uh, yeah, the substation, the substation. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, but let's say power. I say energy, but it is power, um, power plant, plant. It could be generating, but mm -hmm. it's okay, the power plant, okay? The power plant, la planta de energía, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, we can have problems with the printer, with the computers, with the cell phones, with the office phones, the server, cameras, the email applications, or maybe any other kind of software. Um, 
the internet router, the cables like optic fiber, um, ATMs, uh, también con las USB, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. USB um, units. Photocopier. Okay. The photocopier, good. Mm -hmm. Very mm -hmm. good. The photocopier. Okay. The robotic. Uh, again, turbomatic. Es como uh, el, el kiosco que le da el papelito para ir en el orden que corresponde. Like the ticket? Ticket something? Uh, I don't know the name for that. I will say. Um, ¿Cómo dice que se llama? En, ¿Cómo lo llaman ustedes? Turnomatic. Turnomatic. Sí. Ok. ¿Y han visto si dice turnmatic <ríe> en English? <ríe> A ver. Turnomatic. Okay. Pero ya me deja tarea para mañana. Yes. Véanle por ahí porque no creo que diga sí. Ok. Let's see. Turno. Ah, turno attic me cambió. Ok. Matic. I'm sorry, but I want to be sure with this. That's the name in English, Tarnomatic, okay? Tarnomatic, mm -hmm. yeah, that's the name in English. I, I had some idea about that because it's like a queue management system, right? It's like uh, the queue, yeah? Es como, sí, el que sortea, ¿verdad? Los números, yeah. Mm -hmm. So wow. yes, el nombre Dixie. es el mismo nombre, Tarnomatic. Mm -hmm. Como el turno automático. But, yes, um, turn O. Um, sorry, it is like this. Ah, because we are in English here. How to change this into Spanish? Turn O Matic. Like this. Turn O Matic. Radio. There you go. Hmm? Radio. Radios, yes. Air Radios. Air conditioner, yes, but air conditioner mm -hmm. no llamamos a uh, IT support. Llamamos a maintenance, ¿verdad? Llamamos a mantenimiento. Mm -hmm. Teacher, um, internal network. Okay, yes. Es como the intranet, right? Intranet, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, internal network is okay. Uh, but sure. you said something before this. I missed it. La, me la salté. Una que me dijeron antes. Radios, right? Radios. Okay. Radios. What else? Eh, embosadora. Oof. You got me. <laughs> what is that? What is uh -huh. that for? Embosadora. Funciona para hacer las tarjetas de crédito, débito. Oh, okay. Like data card, right? Uh, data card something, right? Okay. The printer, the printer, yes. Ah, ya está. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, the verb for that, um, embossar, right? It's like embossing, right? Embossing, where is this thing? Here, I'm going to write it right here, what I found, okay? Embossing data card, okay? Embossing data card, okay? Very good, and you have trouble with that maybe, right? Que no enciende, it doesn't turn on, ¿ok? Entonces, ahora pensemos en los problemas que veíamos, por ejemplo, ayer y que acabamos de ver ahorita, ¿ok? Vamos a ver, así rapidito vamos a terminar esta y la vamos a empezar acá. It doesn't turn on, ¿ok? It doesn't turn on. Cualquiera de las... Eh, 
eh, ¿cómo se llama esto? Del, del, estos equipos de oficina, cualquiera de estos equipos de oficina, pues que trabajan con electricidad, it doesn't turn on, for example, right? Otro problema, what, an, what could be another problem with this? What could be another problem? For, for example, with a printer, with a printer or the photocopier, we could say it's out of ink, right? It's out of ink, no tiene tinta, right? It's out of ink. And maybe only the technician can do that, right? Uh, what about the cameras? What about the cameras? Camera is not working, okay? It's not working. For example, camera is not working. Uh, Otro problema, vamos a ver. Ayuda, help me. Alarma. Eh dispara ¿Cómo se dice se disparó la alarma? Ah, ok. Uh, the alarm uh, uh, turned on. I, I, I think it is turned on itself. Ok, itself. Se activó. Se activó la alarma, right? Ok, like this. Ese es un tiempo pasado, ok, y tiene un pronominal C, ok, se activó. Uh -huh. Sí, más bien activated, right? Mm. Es que este es el detalle, miren, en inglés estos eh, C, T, T, todos esos se, en muchos casos se omite, pero en este caso queremos dejar manifestado que fue por sí sola que se dispara, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, the alarm activated, activated itself. Itself le pondría yo, ¿ok? The alarm activated itself. Podríamos poner was activated, que también suena bien, ¿ok? Was es el pasado de is, ¿ok? Was es el pasado de is. Ok, people, now we are going to the next activity right here. It's 9 and 19, so we are going to the next page. We have to see about the would like and would like to. Okay. And here we have, we have to write the item or the equipment, okay? One, two, and three. Y tenemos que poner, and we have to write Three possible problems. Three possible problems. Ok. A ver, ¿con qué podemos comenzar? Vamos a ver. Can you tell me an item in your offices again? Like printer. Ok. Let's talk about the problems with a printer. Aquí arriba, en la primera página que vimos el día de hoy, tenemos un problema. Vamos a buscarlo ahí y me lo dicen. En la tablita donde chequeamos. Paper stuck in printer. Great. Paper stuck in printer. Stuck in printer. Uh, stop. Okay, what other problem can we have with, with printers? No respond. Okay, it doesn't respond. Okay, podríamos decir respond or it doesn't work, right? 
Y simplemente podemos decir, it doesn't print. Ok. It doesn't print. Ok. Number three, another problem with printers. Otro problema con las printers, con las impresoras. Sí, para cambiar la, la tinta. Ok, printer is out of ink. Ok. It doesn't turn on. Ok, great. It doesn't turn on. Ok, great. There you go. Mm -hmm. Ok, like this one. Printer isn't compatible. Ok. It's incompatible. There you go. No es compatible, right? It's incompatible. Ok, entonces, quedan dos más. Nos vamos a ir al breakout room y ustedes hacen para dos equipos, tres problemas, pero así en cinco minutitos pensemos, ok? Vamos a ver, porque acá arriba ya platicamos un poquito de los problemas, ok? Entonces, de ese mismo vocabulario, no vamos a estar eh, buscando otros que no hayamos visto, ¿ok? ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí la explicación para que hagamos este ejercicio? Ok. Nos vamos a ir cinco minutitos para hacer eso. Ok, bien, hoy solo voy a crear eh, cinco grupos y ustedes se van al grupo que ustedes quieren, ok. There you go. Hello, María Magdalena. Sí, ahorita. Ok. Le Levin. Hello. Ok. Are you ready to go to your, um, to your room? Yeah. Ok. Karen Maricela. <coughs> Levin, ¿no le apareció ahí la invitación? Didn't you receive the invitation? No, I didn't receive that. You may join to any, to any room, ¿ok? Where? Vaya a sección de grupos. Ok. Uh. Ok, you may join the room that you want. Ok.
que sea que. Le boté el jamón. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál quieren que sea el otro equipo? Eh, computer en. ¿Con? De internet, por favor. Uh, uh, de uh -huh. Sería if doesn't if doesn't okay it doesn't oh okay computer y el segundo eh, it, mm, puede ser it otro de los problemas que teníamos acá es frozen screen ah que se congeló la pantalla uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. ahí sí es cierto eso pasa seguido ahí sí. es a donde con nosotros se conectan eh, remotamente verdad uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's frozen. Solo de la película me recuerdes. <laughs> Frequently. <laughs> okay. It's frozen. Frozen. Yeah. Frozen is thing. Le vamos a poner este eh, la palabra. Solo va a it's frozen pants. Para mí solo sería it's frozen screen. Ah, porque como ya no estamos hablando del sujeto que es la, la computer. Uh -huh. este, y la tercera puede ser otro. Eh, la que dice aquí fun noise in the C P U que decía ellos que decía la teacher que fun funny eh, no es de divertido sino que es como de problemas algo así en el CPU yes it's like funny, strange funny. strange yeah. extraño strange ah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Eh, ah, no, en la otra era. Okay, people. So now we are going up. Oh, I'm sorry. I see not everyone is here yet. There you go. 
Hello, teacher. Hello, Levy. Can you tell <laughs> us? I'm sorry, I was uh, speaking and no one else was here. Okay, Levy, hey, tell us I, uh, the I number did, two. Uh, the number two, I don't know, but we wrote the number two, the computer doesn't, no, the computer is broken. So broken. the item was computer, okay? The item was computer, okay? So what uh, are the possible I, problems with computers? I, I don't have my manual. I don't have my because my cell phone is but battery down. Okay, so let's and, see you but, were working but, 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 with but Kenny. Kenny. Oh, okay. Tell you. Yeah, everybody <laughs> was thinking about Kenny. Oh my God. <laughs> there yeah. you go. Kenny, please help us. Uh, tell us about the possible problems with computers. Um, it is frozen screen. Okay, it got. Eso sería it got. It got. Got. Uh -huh. got. ¿Se acuerdan que frozen. vimos una expresión yeah. que decía got it? ¿Se acuerdan de esa expresión? Uh -huh. Ese got es, eh, es muy útil para decir esto precisamente. It oh. got a frozen screen. It got a uh, frozen screen. Okay. It got frozen screen. Yes. Okay. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. The, the word is in past. Get got got it. Uh -huh. Correct. Correct. The same, uh, I, I have the. the, the the, the same, same question. Okay. Question. Yes. yes. <laughs> it comes from the get verb. Okay. Get, got, gotten. Okay. Gotten. Mm, not gotten. Gotten. Yeah. Okay. It's like that. Sorry, teacher. Yeah. O sea, ahí no, no lo hacemos como r. Okay. Gotten. Mm -mm. Gotten. Gotten. Yes. Gotten. Like a gotten. Like cotton. Yeah. But it mm. says, uh, I mean, it sounds k. And the other is mm -hmm. guh. Okay, so mm -hmm. yeah, that's the difference. But yes, the end Excuse of me, those teacher. words are the same. Excuse me? Excuse me, teacher. <laughs> no problem. No problem. You're excused. <laughs> okay. So now, uh, Kenny, you were saying one problem. So now let's see who else were with you. Who else was with you? Let's see. Uh, Lisette. Can you tell us a problem with uh, computers, please? Uh, um, ya dijeron las que tenían. <laughs> no, no, because you say they say it only frozen screen, so you can say another one. Mm. The computer doesn't have the app? Oh, okay. Applications not installed. Okay. Applications not installed or programs, right? Uh huh. It needs some software to work. Yeah, you're right. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Lisa. Now, um, let's look at here. Marielos, what other problems can we have with computers? Did you work about computers? No, no. Okay, what was your what was your item? The server. Again? Can you repeat that again, please? The server. Oh, the server. Okay. Tell us what problem can happen or uh, the mm -hmm. server crashes, crashes oh, okay. by many other. Oh by many good. Other. Yes. Yes, very good. Mm -hmm. It's overloaded, okay? Overloaded, se sobrecargó, right? Overloaded. Mm -hmm. okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much, Marielos. Now let's uh, see here, Karen Maricela. What item were you listing? Karen Maricela? Sí. Uh -huh. Tell me what item were you talking in the breakout room? Talking about. Uh, it's, 
is don't connectivity. Okay, it's not connectivity. Uh, but what was the item? The computer or printer? Uh, the computer. Okay, computer. It has not connectivity, okay? Very good. Mm -hmm. So it has no access to um, internet, right? It has okay. no access. It has no access to internet. It has no access to internet. Great. Thank you very much, uh, Maricela. Okay, people, I think we understand that we have to identify the problem. And now with that um, uh, information, we go to the next activity that it is a... Um, conversation where we are using... Um, the um, structure would like to to request for something uh, very politely in a very polite way. Okay, so let me share the screen with you for practicing this conversation. It's really easy, but we have to check this out. Okay, so let's see. Mm, Mike and Maria are talking. Okay, Mike and Maria are talking. I think over the phone, right? I think over the phone. Este Mario, no se preocupen, que no es Mario, okay? I think it is Mike, okay? Este Mario del final, no se vayan a confundir que sea una tercera persona, pero no, este es Mike. Okay then, Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? Uh, it doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it's a service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see, I'll be there right away. Okay. Les voy a dar 30 segunditos para que ustedes lo lean, pero por favor, quiero ver sus labios moviéndose. Ok. Teacher, mm -hmm. how can I pronounce the word, the word, uh, error? Error. 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 Mm -hmm. Button. Button, yes. Mm, okay. Mike and Mandy, I think, pardon I go to my Wait, It doesn't seem to be working and it wants some strange noise. Okay, people, thank okay. you very much. Now, is there a question about the vocabulary we have in this conversation? Mm -hmm. I would like to report a problem. No, tiene. Is no tiene. What no is tiene. the problem? No tiene aquí. What is the problem? Miss yes. Ochoa. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You're reading here, okay? Great. It doesn't seem to be working, right? Okay, guys. So now let's see the the um the words in bold okay the words in bold i would like to report a problem okay i would like to report a problem esa ya la sabemos ahora veamos esta otra i would like you to come soon ah qué diferencia hay en esto y esto i would like you to come soon. Mm -hmm. 
Bien. En esta primera, ah, en esta primera, ah, estamos claro, expresando claro. la acción que queremos uh, ah, realizar. Claro. Okay? Like, I would like to report. No hay nada antes de to, ¿verdad? Ni después de like. Aquí mm -hmm. sí, miren. Tenemos un pronombre. Mm -hmm. Ok. Eh, 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 sea como que... Te quisiera. Eh, te gustaría. Quisiera, o me gustaría. Te quisiera. Uh -huh. uh, sí, eh, ese me, sería me... como el significado uh -huh. eh, más próximo, ¿verdad? Pero lo que estamos viendo acá ahorita es, si yo quiero reportar la acción, solo voy, solamente voy a decir, I would like to report. Yeah. Ok. Pero si yo Pero quiero que um, alguien please. haga algo, ok, que alguien haga algo para mí o por mí, mm, le hago una solicitud, tú... exactly, le hago una solicitud very politely y le digo, I would like you to come soon. Ok. I would like si fuera, yo quiero que ella, I would like her to come soon. Mm. Si quiero que él, I would like him to come soon. Okay? I would like they to come soon. soon. Okay? ¿Sí ven esto? Yeah. ¿Alguna pregunta acerca de eso? Mm -hmm. Ok. Entonces, vamos a escuchar. We want to listen to Reinaldo as Mike. And we want to listen to Jessica. Okay? Jessica and Reinaldo, please. Reinaldo is Mike and Jessica is Maria. Okay, teacher. There you go. <clears throat> Maria. Sí, acá estoy. Sí. Okay. Pero es que él comienza, ¿verdad? Sí, ¿verdad? Yes. You, you, okay. you, you start. You start, Reinaldo. You are Mike. Are you? Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, Mike Hernández is the person. IT. IT department. IT department. I see, I see the problem. I see Hello. the problem. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What, what is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a messenger messenger in the control panel? A message. Yes. A message. I'm sorry. Is there a message? A me okay. Is there a message, message, message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like to I would like you to come soon to check it. I see, I did the ring away. Right away, right oh. away. Okay. Right away. Thank teacher, you very much. Mm -hmm. teacher, uh, Tell me. Question, and, uh, and I see, I, este, este, uh, ¿cómo se pronuncia esto que sigue después del I, I see? I'll, una... I'll. I'll. Ajá. I eso will. es I will. I, I will. will. Eso lo vamos a ver más adelante en otro, en otro módulo cuando uh -huh. hablemos acerca de los futuros usando will. ¿Ok? Ese es un auxiliar muy uh -huh. interesante. ¿Ok? Que sería así, mire. Eso viene de I will. ¿Ok? Eh, contractado es I'll. Uh -huh. Y es el futuro. Quiere decir, I'll be there right away. We don't know the time. We don't know when exactly. He just say right away. Okay. Por eso él usa I'll be. I'll be there. Okay. I'll be there right away. Okay. Sí. Sí, es que he visto esta, 
este, en, otras, en otras oraciones y tenía esa duda, ¿cómo es que...? Ok, eso significa es que la, un futuro. La, 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 por ejemplo, dependiendo, ah, okay. ese modifica al verbo. Por ejemplo, aquí dice, I'll be, eh, sería estaré. Okay? Estaré uh -huh. en futuro, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. okay. Uh -huh. ok. Ok, now let's continue okay. here, guys, because we have a pair word here down. Ok, we have to figure it out. We are not going to do the per word. We are going to do it together, okay? Complete the sentences below. Use the conversation to help yourself. Number one. ¿Qué nos falta ahí? What is missing in number one? Mm -hmm. I will. I will like. Okay. I And what about number two? Like to. Like to. Um, yo quiero arreglar esto. ¿O cómo diría ahí? Sería, no sería, I would like to. Vamos no. a ver, Va, miren, pues si aquí ponemos I would like to, ok, ahí estamos diciendo yo quiero, ok, ah, perdón, me faltó el like, yo quiero arreglar esto, ok, ok, ahí diría I would like to fix this, yo quiero arreglar esto. Pero no es esa la idea, ¿verdad? I would like you. You, exactly, exactly. Quiero que usted arregle esto, right? Uh -huh. I would like you to fix this. Ok. There uh -huh. you go. ¿Vemos la diferencia entre uno y el otro? Uh -huh. Ok. Bien. De ahí, pues, tenemos... Ya casi vamos a finalizar. Lo único que. Permítanme que no baja. Lo único que quiero que veamos es este how to use would like to. Ok. How to use would like to. Use would like to to say what you want, especially when making offers and requests. Decíamos que requesting politely es lo que más nos ocupa ahorita. Pero vamos a mencionar acerca de, la, de ofrecer nuestra ayuda, ¿verdad? Ok, o de ofrecer algo. So, let's see that when we use a singular pronoun like she or he, we just say she would like to send the reports today. Ok. He'd like to meet the new employees tonight. No cambia. ¿Verdad? No cambia. Aquí no tenemos que conjugar verbos. Simple y sencillamente le ponemos would like to y ahí dice como que dijera she wants. ¿Ok? Pero ahí dice ella desea, ella quiere, quisiera. ¿Ok? Algo así. Esa es la idea. Porque would no tiene una traducción literal. ¿Ok? No hay algo que exprese exactamente eso. En cada... Um, hay muchas aplicaciones de would, ¿ok? Pero en este caso estamos viendo would like to, unido, ¿verdad? Las tres palabras. So, he'd like to. Aquí ya vemos una contracción, ¿verdad? Igual aquí pudimos haber dicho she'd like to. She'd like to. Acordémonos de pronunciar esa D correctamente. Le dedicamos bastante tiempo ayer para aprenderlo. Y would no es would, no es goal, es would, ok, would, it was a mosquito here, ok, we'd like to ship this container tomorrow, they would like to speak to a supervisor, ok, vamos a ver, Marta, Marta Lidia, please, read these two, they would like to speak to a supervisor, Excellent. No tengan miedo de decir solo would, como que solo la U la sacaran desde adentro y dijeran would. 
Okay. Would. Yes. yes. Excellent. With, with like. Would. Would. Ah. Ah. Okay. Yes. I'm sorry. With. With. With like to. This container tomorrow. Great. Thank you very much. Tell me, please read uh, these singular sentences. She would like to send the reports today. Thank you. Next. He'd like to meet the new employees. 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 Employees tonight. Thank you. Okay. Now, guys, uh, just let me show you some examples. Okay. Some examples how to use this. Okay. Here we go. Okay, some examples like how to use uh, would like, okay? Y tenemos estos ejemplos acá. We have these examples. Veamos la afirmativa, veamos la negativa y veamos cuando hacemos uh, una, un ofrecimiento, an offer, okay? Veamos la primera. I'd like to report a problem. Okay, I'd like to report a problem. This is reporting a problem. Okay, we can use the affirmative, that is the first column. And then the next column, it says, I wouldn't like to worry you. Ah, veamos acá, la forma negativa se contracta de esta manera. Okay, entonces eso proviene de I would not. Okay, I would not se contracta así. Igual si dijéramos she wouldn't like, okay? Uh, he wouldn't like, we wouldn't like. Y luego to worry you as a compliment, okay? I wouldn't like to worry you. I wouldn't, digamos todos la forma negativa, wouldn't, wouldn't. 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 Correct. Wouldn't. 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 Mm -hmm. wouldn't. Excellent. So I wouldn't like to worry you. Wouldn't like to worry you. Okay. Ahora con esto del ofrecimiento, okay, usamos las WH words o pueden también hacer una pregunta directa. Okay. For example, voy a inventar una ahorita acá. Okay. Would you, I'm sorry, would you like to have dinner tonight? Okay. Would you like to have dinner tonight? It means with me, right? <laughs> okay. So would you like to have dinner tonight? It's like an invitation or an offering. Dígame, Reinaldo. No se ve, señor Imagen, no sé si tiene algo ahorita en la pantalla. Eh, sí, no la ¿los demás ahorita. miran? Sí. Yes. 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 Dele refrescar, Reinaldo, para ver si así le aparece. Refrescar sería F5 si está en computadora. Um, y si no, solo está. hágale para ya abajo está, actualizar. Está. Ok, there you go. Ok. Um, ok. Este, would you like, se usa mucho cuando usted ofrece algo de comer. Eso lo van a oír bastante, por ejemplo, si van a, a Burger King, a McDonald's. What would you like to order? Ok, que es muy famoso eso, ¿verdad? What would you like to order? I'm sorry, order. Y ayer veíamos una que eh, Levin nos recomendaba es what would you like to report es an offering se está abriendo para que le diga eh, lo que necesita verdad ok veamos estos ejemplos así rapidito
I'll tell you later, okay? Requesting politely. Aquí tenemos una lista de situaciones, some situations. Okay. Okay. Some situations we have here, like, por ejemplo, que usted le dice a su jefe que le, um, que le revise algo, okay, que usted hizo, okay, que quiere que le dé como su revisión, ¿verdad? Give me your feedback. Give me your feedback. That's the situation. A su jefe usted le va a hablar muy respetuosamente, ¿verdad? Entonces va a utilizar, I'd like you to give me your feedback, okay? I'd like you to give me your feedback. That's the polite request. Veamos, ¿cómo diría usted, Estela, si usted quiere tomar un tiempo libre? Okay. Like, take some time off. Usted va donde su jefe y le hace ese request. Mm. I, I think it's, uh, I would like to take some time off. Excellent. Or I have to, or, ah, okay. Excellent. I'd like, uh, podría decir request también or take, como lo teníamos acá en la situation, ¿ok? Imagínese que usted necesita un tiempito que el jefe le dedique unos minutitos porque usted tiene algo urgente que decirle a Amanda, a su jefe, por ejemplo, to your boss. To talk to the boss, usted le puede decir. I like to tell to you. Excellent. I'd like to talk to you. Okay. okay Igual su jefe le puede decir lo mismo a usted. Okay. I'd like to talk to you later or I'd like to talk to you right now. Okay. Ay, no lo puedo poner correcto ese like. Okay. Ya vamos que tenemos solo un minuto para tomar la asistencia. Okay. Pero terminemos rapidito acá. To send the new procedure guidelines by email. Imagínense que a ustedes le dicen um, eh, que hay un nuevo procedimiento, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, usted no conoce cuáles son las instrucciones del nuevo procedimiento. Y usted le va a ir a decir al encargado de ese procedimiento o a su jefe que le envíe esas instrucciones. ¿Cómo se lo pediría? I like I like you. I'd like you to send a new procedure guidelines by email. Y aquí podemos poner please. Ok. Yeah. Vamos a ver. Si yo quiero reportar un problema en mi área, report an issue in your area. Ok. Issue no necesariamente es un problema, ¿ok? Issue no necesariamente es un problema, puede ser una situación, ¿ok? Algo diferente, algo distinto, algo nuevo o algo que está sucediendo que no es parte del procedimiento normal también es issue, ¿ok? Una cuestión. Hey, exactly, una cuestión, yeah. So, I'd like to report, yo le quiero reportar, ¿verdad? That we are closing the offices one hour later, just as you wish. Okay, just as you wish. So, yo le quiero reportar que estamos cerrando las oficinas una hora más tarde, así como usted lo pidió, ¿verdad? Como era su deseo. Okay, estos son algunos ejemplos, right? Ahí les. Um, Aquí solo me faltó leerles este porque cuando uno habla por teléfono, por ejemplo, puede solicitar hablar con alguien, ¿ok? Entonces usted le dice, I would like to speak with Carla Raquel. Is she in? ¿Ok? Entonces, I would like to speak, to speak with David. Is he in? Si no es David el que contestó, ¿verdad? Si no es Raquel la que contestó. Esa es la manera de preguntar o solicitar que le pasen a esa persona, ¿ok? What is, what is the meaning, is he in, or is she in? Está él ahí. Ah. Ok. Is he in, es, está él adentro, sería como la, 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 la traducción literal, ¿verdad? Pero is he in, 
póngale usted in the office, in the house, in the place that you are calling to, right? Mm, okay. Okay. Pero así se dice in. Is he in? Mm -hmm. Okay, people, just let me call the roll. Do you have any question at the moment? Mañana al inicio de la clase vamos a hacer ejercicios, okay? Para eh, que todo lo que aprendimos ahora lo pongamos en práctica, okay? Bien, déjenme tomar la asistencia. Let me call the roll. En la, déjenme decirles también, I have two announcements to make. Um, in the platform, you are going to find a post. Lo posté ahora antes de la clase. Es más, hasta se había quedado trabado ahí. Por eso fue hasta ahora como cinco minutos antes que le pude dar el ok. Ay, qué lindo. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, oh, hey. Guys. <laughs> they say uh, it is Marina. It is Mar Todos pueden escuchar. Yes. 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 Iris Marina se le fue el audio. ¿Ya puede escuchar, Iris? Mm, bien. Voy a um, llamar la asistencia. Esperemos que sí se escuche todo. Okay. Amanda Graciela Pérez Orellana. Present Aleja Visay Marinero Asensio. Presente, Candelaria no, de Los no, Ángeles no. Nolasco de Flores. Candelaria de Los Ángeles, Nolasco de Flores. Uh, Carolina Beth Chávez Reyes. Present. Ok. Um, Cristian Edenilson Ayala Ramírez. Present teacher. Ok. Delmi Guadalupe Martínez Marroquín. Present teacher. Estela Mabel Orellana de Del Cid. Iliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros, yes, present. <laughs> teacher. Ok, Iliana, Iris Marina Portillo de Reyes. Iris Janet Barrera Herrera. Present teacher. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present teacher. Karen Maricela Rivera de Martínez. Present teacher. Carla Raquel Mendoza Hernández. Present teacher. Kenny Lisette Cuellar de Barrientos. Present teacher. Levin Giovanni Martínez. Present teacher. Lizette del Carmen Hernández Mismit. Marta Present Lidia Godínez. Present teacher. René Armando Avendaño Pineda. Reinaldo Chávez Guerra. Alexandra Raquel Ávila de Axume. Thank you, Reinaldo. Alexandra Raquel. Present teacher. Ok. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Carla Yanet García González. María Magdalena Ronquillo Magaña. Present. María Luz Yanet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Vilma Consuelo Guzmán de Girón. Present. Ok, people. Eh, solo quiero hacerles un recordatorio que ya ahorita ya están eh, recibiendo la documentación para que se puedan inscribir, ¿verdad? O, o reserven su inscripción. Eh, por favor, pónganse en contacto con el, el representante de su compañía de recursos humanos para que envíe esa documentación. Tenemos hasta el viernes 10 para poder hacer el, esa reserva, ¿verdad? de la inscripción. Decimos reserva, pero en realidad es la inscripción porque aquí a todos pasaron, ¿verdad? Aquí a todos tenemos 100. <ríe> ok, de eso depende, ¿verdad? El ok de la inscripción. Así que yo creo que sí, ya es más que seguro. Todos van para el otro, ¿verdad? Entonces, por favor, hagan eso. Estar pendientes de que sí se envíe esa documentación porque si no se quedan fuera, y después van a vacaciones, ya no se puede hacer más, okay? So everybody, thank you very much for being here and um, please do your homework and see you tomorrow. Lisette staying, right? Okay.
Have a good yeah. night, everyone. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a good rest. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys, teacher. See you tomorrow. Okay, see you, Kenny. See you, Raquel. Uh, well, Raquel, it's gone. Okay. Solo Vilma faltó, ¿verdad? Yes, only Vilma is still connected there. Okay, go ahead, they said. Do you have any question? How can I help you? Uh, yes, I have a question. Tell me. What is feedback? Feedback es como eh, un, una revisión, un, una retrospección, retroalimentación. No. Uh -huh. So I try to say three sentences and if correct mm -hmm. or incorrect, you can, you will uh, corregir me, correct? Okay, correct me. Let's see. Okay, tell me. Number one, uh, affirmative. Uh, I'd like to call to my sister. To call? Mm, to my sister or my sister? Only my sister. Okay, okay. without two. Okay. This is okay. Yes. Okay. It is okay. It is correct. Okay. In negative, mm -hmm. a, I wouldn't, I wouldn't make the exam in the on Sunday. On Sunday. Okay, I wouldn't make. Si no decimos like to. Uh, ya no dice yo yes. no quiero, ok, sino que si no le ponemos like to, sería uh, yo no haría el examen, okay. ok, pero tenemos que ponerle like to para decir yo no quisiera o yo no quiero, ok, hacer y no, el examen el domingo, exacto, pero aquí hay un detalle, make es si usted lo va a digitar ah, o hacer, armar, yes, ok, sería, do, do, yes, I wouldn't like to do the exam on Sunday, yes, exactly, ok, mm -hmm. to And, do the exam, ok, um, interrogative, mm -hmm. uh, que ver cómo podría hacerlo, What would you like to eat uh, in the restaurant? Yes, it is correct. It's correct. It is correct. We use the WH word, okay? Then would, that is the helping verb here. Then the pronoun and then uh, like to, okay? And the principal or the main verb, eat. Okay, so yes, okay. it is correct. And, and when it's a sentence interrogative, always can, I always can use what? Double each question. What, no, necessarily. Where? No, no, necessarily. Uh, you can make a direct question, okay? You can ask a direct question, not using the WH uh, words, like, would you like 
to go with me. Okay. Okay, like this. Okay. Would you uh, would you like to go with me? Okay. Ahora, okay. El, la reacción es lo que vamos a ver mañana. ¿Cómo se contesta? Okay. ¿Cómo se contesta? En este caso, what? Uh, yes, it's a thing. For example, you are going to say, I like to eat pizza. I like to eat Chinese food. I like to eat spaghettis, right? Then you say what exactly you want to eat. Okay. But here, here, it's like an invitation. And in the invitation, you just say, I'd, I'd. I'd love to, for example, okay? Ya no dije like, okay? Sino que puedo responder para decir que sí. Okay? I can say the, the bay. Uh, excuse me? I can say the bay. Yes, the lo verb. que pasa okay. es que, vaya, mire, cuando nosotros, yeah, you can change the verb like. Yes, because when you answer these kind of questions using would you like to, it's not necessary to use like to answer, okay? okay. No decimos, yes, I'd like, no, I wouldn't like, no. Aquí no, aquí es una reacción, this is a reaction. Or we agree or we disagree, okay? We agree or we disagree. For example, if I agree, then I say, I'd love to, me encantaría, okay? Like, I'd love to. Or, would you like to go with me? Yo le puedo reaccionar, sure, thank you. Thank oh, you. I'm sure. Yeah, sure, thank you for inviting me, right? Yeah, or thank you for taking me with you, right? I can express, um, this reaction agreeing with the other person, okay? No es una respuesta de sí o no. En este caso es una pregunta directa, pero no es solo de sí y no. Mm -hmm. En este de would you like to es um, como estando de acuerdo o en desacuerdo. Ahora, en desacuerdo, yo pondría una excusa, por decir así, o una, ex, una explicación. An excuse or an explanation why I don't... Uh, I wouldn't like to do that, right? So for example, I could say, would you like to go with me? No, thanks. Okay. No, thanks. Yeah. What and is there is, no thanks? Is necess not, not is necessary another reason. Yes, of course. Uh, it's not necessarily, or yes, you can give a reason, an excuse. Okay. Right, you can say something. For example, um, I'm sorry, okay. Um, sorry, I am busy, okay. For example, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I'm busy tonight. I'm busy right now, okay. So I cannot go with you, right? You just say a reason, agreeing or disagreeing, okay. Mañana vamos a ver eso. Tomorrow we are studying the reactions to this question. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, then. Uh, hasta el momento queda claro? Yes. Okay. Everything yes. clear, right? Is there yes. any other thing I can help you with? Um, I think not. All my things. Only with that? Okay. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Remember that you can reach me through the WhatsApp chat. Ah, okay, if you have any questions. Tell me, tell me. About the platform. Uh -huh. I, how do you say send in past? You sent? Yes, I send a message. Did you send a message? Yes, in WhatsApp for, for ask, for ask for the platform. Es que ahí, o sea, no okay, sé qué significa, no sé si lo puede ver. What, what, what was the message? Ahorita, voy a mandar una carita. 
Okay. No, no. Ahí le mandé una carita. Ok, let's see. Oh, ok, now I got it. Uh -huh. Es que como ahí dice, pero no sé si es porque falta asistencia, a ver. O okay, que lo que... Uh, ¿Usted estaba queriendo bajar su diploma? No, no, o sea, estaba viendo como que en, es que yo recuerdo que en la clase, bueno, en el módulo pasado, Ajá. se veía un poquito más, más arriba la, el, la barra, ¿verdad? Ajá, Ajá. Entonces ahora se mira más, más abajo. Y es que tuve un problema, fíjese. La verdad Ajá. es que no lo entendí cuando usted hacía como los las discusiones en la plataforma. Ah, okay. Entonces, la última vez que usted sacó, bueno, un tema antes, Ajá. usted dijo que fuéramos a la plataforma y que viéramos lo de la... Ajá. Lo de, lo de hacerlo ahí en la plataforma. Entonces fui cuando me di cuenta ¿va? y empecé a ver todos los temas que usted había dejado. Ok. Y no Pero ya los que... realizó. Fíjense que no los he hecho porque como ya se pasaban, ¿va? pero si en dado caso yo los puedo hacer con, con mucho ¿Cómo gusto. ¿Cómo no? Los puede hacer para practicar. Claro que los puede sí, hacer okay. para practicar y va a ver que el progreso va a subir. Probablemente eso sea porque en realidad si yo todas creo sus... Que sí. Yo recuerdo que usted ha hecho sus tareas, ¿verdad? Ha hecho sí, sus sí. tareas y todo. Solo quiero entrar aquí en... y quiero verlo yo. ¿Cómo está su... su... Uh... ¿Cómo está su progreso acá? I think obviously it's going to give the same thing, but just let me, sh let me check this. Okay, just let me see here. Okay, y cómo le aparece, permítame, voy a regresar al mensaje. Le apareció. I'm still, I'm still trying to, to get it, to reach it. This is never wrote. Probablemente yo estoy agarrando un dato diferente. Sí. Zero. Bueno, Zero. yo ahorita estoy viendo y no me aparece mm -hmm. lo mismo como está en la fotografía. Ok, just let me see. Un que está un poco lenta también mi, mi máquina. Or it is with a letter Z, right? Okay.
No puedo accesarlo. En este momento no me abre, pero ya me ha pasado así que estoy queriendo verlo y no. Ok. Y no me funciona, pero en este instante permítame que tengo que, no, quiero, quiero hacerlo bien. I want to do it correctly this. Para dejarle dilucidado eso, ok. It says out of track. Oh, yes, you've got that total, the final. Uh, no, lo que hace falta es que haga el examen final. Ok. Mm. Eso es lo que le falta. El examen final está después de la sección 4. Si se fija abajo, ok. You've got just 25 of 25. Well, here it says 100%. It says 100%. Probablemente... No, pero ya está hecho, ¿verdad? Sí, veo que sí. Veo que sí. Sí. La podría molestar, Lice, perdone, que ahora pueda probar realizarlo nuevamente para ver si así lo agarra, porque probablemente no... Y hay un glitch ahí. Y así descartamos okay. que haya sido eso, ¿ok? ¿Y lo podría hacer el día de mañana? Sí, claro. Oh. Tiene todo okay. este chance porque como eso es para el día viernes. También puede ser que la fecha, pero no, ahorita ya debiera estar registrado. Déjeme reportarlo sí. también, ¿verdad? Intente okay. usted hacerlo y yo lo reporto. Ok. ¿Verdad? Okay. ok, ahora sí, sí ya sí. lo estoy mirando y sí, tiene razón, tiene ese problema y, y cabal, sí, uh -huh. porque solo me dice que el 40% le hace falta, uh -huh. el 40% entonces, de la nota, ¿cómo? solo va a sacar 6. Uh -huh. Entonces, no sé si es por, lo, por las discusiones. Eh, mire, no aparecen en este, en el progreso, en este progreso no aparecen. Por eso me parecía extraño que fuera eso, ¿verdad? Pero ya viéndolo bien, y sí realmente, porque como aquí en la foto no lo miraba completo, pero sí, sí está completo en la foto. No, me falta el 0% en la foto que me envió. Entonces, ahora, lo voy a, voy a tomarle el screenshot y lo voy a reportar este mismo momento, ¿ok? Y okay. lo que me respondan, entonces yo, yo le digo, ¿ok? Ok, Ok, Lice. ¿Alguna no. otra cosa en que yo le pueda servir? No, solo no. Only that. Ok, no problem, Lice. And let me know again. En este okay. caso sí no había visto porque no sé por qué no lo había notado en el WhatsApp. Ok. Pero cualquier cosa sí, mándeme en el chat. Oye. Mándeme okay. en el chat. ¡Ey! Le mandé un, un privado. <ríe> ok. Ajá. Okay. Así. Ch, ch. <ríe> ok, Lisa. Have a good night. And let, let us meet tomorrow. Have a good night. Okay. Bye. Bye.